A few days ago, I had a self-guided bike tour that finished in uh, Orvieto, which is like halfway between Florence and Siena, and they left the bikes in the hotel, and I need to go down and get the bikes. In fact, I always worry about the bikes disappearing in the hotel. I actually called the hotel yesterday and said, are, are my bikes safe? Are they in a good place? And apparently they're in a little courtyard and I've seen it before, so I think it's okay, but it's a good thing. For, it's a good idea for me to get down there and pick them up. It's a two hour drive each way. And uh, fortunately I have a friend who's gonna make the drive with me and I think we'll have lunch and take a look around Orvieto. I'm gonna take my scooter down the center and pick her up. We'll see how it goes. Here comes my friend Nancy. Ciao, buongiorno. Ciao, Nancy. How are you? Come stai? Bene, bene, molto bene. E tu? Be benissimo. Are you ready to go to Orvieto? <laughs> si. Okay. Are you, are you recording? Yeah. Okay. Yay! So nice to have someone helping me. I'm recording. Can you say hello? Ciao? No. <laughs> What's your name? Carlo. Of course it's Carlo. Every handsome man in Italy is named Carlo. Oh, yeah? <laughs> si. Grazie. Okay. Gene Rod. Rain. Take the bottom line. It's time to curve. Try to roll that R. R. I don't know if, if you can did it. Wow, I was gonna say R. you're going against the American trend. There's also a doppia vu. You know what the doppia vu is? A double. Yeah. <laughs> There's the vu and the vu and the doppia vu. Okay. My dad, he wanted to be Italian. <laughs> yeah, I think everyone wants to be Italian. Did it? Um, well, he, my dad looked like Dean Martin. Really? Yeah. Maybe he was Italian. Maybe he was Italian. Down sad like he was a cool guy. Uh, it's a two hour drive to uh, Orvieto, and this is the exciting uh, Alto Grill break spot. Have you been to uh, Alto Grill before? No, no. Oh, Alto you're in for <laughs> <laughs> You're in for a treat. Alto, is that? Alto, like Alto. automobile. Alto, uh, Alto Grill. Well, I heard someone make a joke the other day that Alto Grill could mean like grilling yourself, like Auto Grill. Do you get it? Out the grill. You like it? Yeah. This is like in America we have the Buckies. This is like the Buckies. Buckies. Buckies is like the place everyone goes to. There's a big selection of junk food. Holy cow! I probably should not film in the bathrooms, right? No. Lots and lots of Pringles. This rest stop is the Gummy Bear Cat.
capital <laughs> of Tuscany. If you need gummy bears, you should come to uh, this uh, rest stop along the A1 highway between uh, Florence and uh, Orvieto. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there. <laughs> Are you ready for your line? Can you remember it? Oh, see. Si. You're going to be. I'm, I'm filming, so you got to be ready. Yeah, I'm ready. I'm ready. Buongiorno. Buongiorno. Uh, and, uh, Come on. First, I have to say, come this time. Un ristorante buono. Perfect, bravissimo. We practice for 10 minutes for this. That's what you're going to eh? Perfect. I have two bicycles here to pick up. C'è due bici dietro, se... This is the Duomo of uh, Orvieto, and this stone floor is burning my kneecaps. We're going to try to do the Orvieto underground tour. I did it years ago. You can go under the city and see these spaces they used to use. Well, the Orvieto underground uh, tour was a bust. We don't have time to do the 415 tour. So hopefully we'll go see the Pozzo di San Patrizio, the St. Patrick's Well which I think there won't be any problem getting into. So we're going to take a look around town and then go to the well. Original or do you think they made That's definitely original. Wow. And this whole place, is, this is all original? Well, they redid the facade at some point, but that's what it's always looked like. Wow. That's awesome. Let's see. I don't know how you get up there. Don't hurt yourself. <laughs> Oh, it is, it's, it's a for pretty little people. It's a <laughs> tutti. I nostri cavalli e le nostre panche sono per tutti, which means uh, their benches and their horses. Actually, a few of these horses are for everyone. So we didn't make a faux pas climbing up on their wooden horse. This is so cute. Whoops, sorry. So Nancy, what do you think of Orvieto? It is absolutely gorgeous. Yeah, you recommend gorgeous. it? Yes. It's it's just so it's picturesque and quaint and Is it different from Florence? Extremely different. It's really peaceful huh. and quiet and beautiful. Yeah. Cool. I like them both, but it's I would come here again. This is the Pozzo di San Patrizio, the St. Patrick's Well. Buonasera. Siamo in due. It uh, has this unique staircase that goes down. I think so it could get water, they'd use animals to bring the water up. And it's actually got um, one staircase going down and one staircase going up so the animals wouldn't have to cross each other. Ooh. Here, come here. Ooh. Oh my god, the little girl who fell in the well. <laughs> Holy cow, that's a long way down. <laughs> wow. Oh, come on. We're getting there. 
I think we're about uh, three-fourths of the way. Two hundred and forty-eight steps later, we made it to the very bottom of the well. Papa, mira! So how's the walk up the stairs? <laughs> I can feel it getting hotter. I think we're getting closer. I'm getting lighter. Wow. <laughs> That's far down. Oh man, <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> Nancy and I made it back from Orvieto successfully. We had lunch and uh, saw a very deep well. And uh, it was o really awesome and fun. <laughs> oh, good. Uh, <laughs> and recovered a couple, picked up a couple bikes that were there. Okay. Ciao. Ciao.